Okay, so they are going to test to see if this is going to splinter out whenever they use the router to um, cut the hole out for the radio and then the shelves over there. Hey guys, we are back down at the mobile home today. Jeff got off work and then we came down here. Um, Noah and I were supposed to be here a little bit earlier, but we ended up I was doing some more stuff at the house, so we didn't leave until a little bit later. So the things we're doing today is we're gonna go ahead and, um, well Noah's outside right now and since it had we had a big rain, the trench that they dug for the water line, it kind of settled some, so he's redistributing some of the dirt from the top into the hole if that makes sense um isn't that what he's doing jeff yeah. jeff is taking some more of the oh i keep the saw horse that y'all are sitting on he um is taking off some more of the stuff from the little wooden piece you see up there because over in the kitchen he had we had not taken it off yet and um well it's not real wood but anyway we don't care He's taken the cover off to keep that we put on there to keep it from getting paint on it. And then he and I are going to, we're going to stick the windows back in and we're going to start doing the bottom part of this room so that we can get to the electrical part. Because once we get the bottom part of this done and everything else painted and stuff like that, then we'll be able to put in all the outlets. So we're gonna start on the bottom part and whenever Noah comes back inside, Jeff's gonna teach him how to do some electrical stuff and he's gonna start in his bedroom. Of course, his daddy's gonna go behind him and check everything. And so it's gonna be a little bit of mishmash of different things we're doing. And um, we'll share with you some of it as we do it. Some of it we won't be able to share because I only have the one camera with me. But I can show you the before and after, I guess. So, uh, Noah did, whenever we came in, he checked his room because he had not seen it since it had completely dried with the last coat of polyurethane. He is extremely happy with that. He, he said it's exactly the way he wanted it to be. It's smooth. It's not going to have any problems whenever you try to clean it with the microfiber cloth grabbing it. So, that's good. Um, and I'm glad he's happy with it. So we can pretty close. We're pretty close to finishing his room. So I'm going to, um, see what Jeff needs me to do. And we're going to start getting this room, the bottom portion done. And, um, this room is the one that's got all of the stuff in it though. That's like supplies. So we're going to have to move stuff back and forth as we go. So. Uh, I'll be back. Okay, so the stuff we're going to be putting up there is just laminate flooring. And it does not have a backing or anything like that. And it's called Gladstone Oak. That's the color. And we were hoping it would work well with this fireplace mantle. And I think it will. I think it will work really well um, with that. We're not starting right here. I just kind of wanted to show you these two together. Because this mantle, we're not changing at least as far as I know we're not going to change it. I don't want to change it. So um, I'm hoping that we don't have to do anything to it is what I'm saying. So at least as of now, we don't think we're going to have to. This is what we're going to be putting in on all of the walls on the bottom section. That's why we didn't paint all the way down. And we're going to go up three feet. This is a four foot board, but we're going to go up just three feet. So kind of what Noah did, but not exactly. Uh, we won't have to do any finishing on this, but we're going to just get started, let you listen to some music. We may have to, around the bottom where the, we they pull the carpet up, we may have to pull up some uh, staples, we may have to do some things like that, but that's just part of the stuff that we have to do to make it ready.
Okay, so I don't know if y'all could see what we did, but Jeff marked three feet from the floor to there, to the top, down there and down here, and then we took a chalk line and we just made the mark all the way across. What does the chalk line go so I can show them what it looks like? It's a chalk box. This is a chalk box. Whoop, I can't. And it just makes your line straight. So, it's a pretty cool little tool whenever you want to make a line and you don't want to have to draw it a long line, I should say. And that way, all the top part is going to be even and then the bottom part will be covered by um, the baseboard and the, the floor and all that. So, we're going to get ready to do the rest of this stuff now. Okay, so Jeff is measuring over there because we're going to have a molding piece at that corner. He's measuring the width that needs to be for that and he has cut that piece, the first piece of the laminate with the skill saw because the instructions were not very clear but it said you needed a skill saw. It also said you needed a like utility knife and we're just going to use the saw because it works well. So. He's getting that lined up so that we can have that part straight. And while he is cutting, I'm going to be applying them, I guess, after he gets the first one on there. Um, I don't really know what we're doing other than he's telling me what to do and I'm going to do it. <laughs> so he's going to get the first one started and show me what I need to do with the second one and then we'll just... Hopefully, it'll go smoothly, but we don't know because this, I mean, every home is crooked and wobbly and weird, especially older ones, so we're going to make it work for us, and he can figure out how to make it work. There, um, He got all the little nails or staples out of the floor, too, so that was done. So anyway, I'll be back. Well, I'm going to show... I'm just going to record and let y'all listen to music. How about that? Nothing ever felt as good Or as easy As when we were young Oh, oh, oh. Though I felt misunderstood It was a pleasure Running away with you Just children acting like a dog Crazy, naive, bold and carefree We were kids having kids Crazy, naive It amazes me that we didn't fall and speaking terms we grow and we learn I have no regrets only forgets oh a big thank you to life for giving us end oh when the time is right there's no wasteland oh we just children acting like a doll Crazy, naive, bold and carefree We were kids and kids Crazy, naive It amazes me that we didn't fall
mountains to get some confidence. How many debates to earn some tailwind? The years pass, I'm still the same. What will it take? Why the way up and down? I'm losing ground. Pretend to tell me what to believe. To say, please make the strain go away, pretender. How many right turns to reach some kind of goal? How many dressing up for me to play some ball? Seasons change, still the same range. Where will it take? Tell me why the way up and down. I'm moving around. Okay, so that's one box of those. That's how much it covered. So, um, almost that whole wall. And the other foot, what are we doing with the other foot that we have left? They're going under the windows and stuff. And I don't know what's going to, there's going to be a lot left over after the windows, though. But anyway, we'll figure out something. But I'm not going to record anymore until a little bit later maybe I'll record a little bit around some other spots he used his little multi-tool to cut around the outlet and um it's just more of the same he's cutting them I'm stapling them to the walls and Noah is painting so that's what is happening today with this part anyways and um I'll show y'all however much we get done whenever we're done. Okay, so Noah has come in and painted the ceiling, the first actual coat of paint. The other was primer that I did. And we took the mirror off too that was here. So he painted around that. But um, I guess there's a drip there. Anyway, I'm gonna have to come in like and cut in and all that stuff. And we'll have to put another coat on here, I'm sure. Uh, but because we've had to do that everywhere 
but um, that was done and he did the hall, the first actual coat of paint. The rest of it was primer and he did, I think, the pantry. Okay, so now we're going to move over to this side because that one is finished and we want to wait to do the fireplace part. Um, so, why well, have this zoomed in? It's crazy. It zoomed in so much for some reason. Anyway, um, just going to go all the way over there and then uh, come back to this side. Don't know if we're going to get to that today, but we'll come back to this side. We've got to move stuff before we can do it though. So I'm telling y'all that because most likely things are going to be moved in front of this wall because it's the only place to put it right now. So I'm going to just set up the camera somewhere. I guess I might record a little bit more at least showing y'all how we do under the windows. Okay, I thought I would try to show you this before it got too dark. I don't know if he did in here or not. I need to ask him. I don't think he did. Doesn't look like it. But he, he did run out of paint, so he may not have. But he did this part. We are going to have to do another coat, though. But the ceilings were already done, so no issues there. Okay, so they are going to test to see if this is going to splinter out whenever they use the router to um, cut the hole out for the radio and then the shelves over there. Jeff's going to uh, do this one, so you can go ahead and do it. Okay, so he tested it and he sees it does not splinter out. So Noah's going to come over here and he's going to teach Noah how to do it. Oh, I've moved on this side so you could Noah could get on that side. Oh, you're going to give it to Noah. Okay, so Noah's going to do it. All you do is just run down. Just run the wheel on the end and stop it going down too far. Yeah, and stop it. So when it goes down and stop, you just take it and run it to that corner, run it, run it back to the back corner, back down. Right? And if you mess it up, it's fine. We'll fix it. done these three and now we have the shelves again and he's going to vacuum out uh, everything so that uh, it'll be free of the sawdust. I'm in the light. Okay so over here below this window these are the pieces that he cut from the other part. These were supposed to be four feet long but he cut them to three feet and these are 15 inches, so it's four foot three inches, right? Is that right? Yeah, four foot three inches. So these actually are the right length for what we need over here. So it worked out that we don't have to cut these. I mean, we don't have to add to these. We, we thought we were gonna have to add to them, but we don't. Um, just around the spots, like the outlets and stuff, We'll have to um, cut those if needed, but otherwise, under the windows, we'll just be able to add to them because we are going to have a, what is it called? A facing, a window facing that we're going to do around the windows too. So we don't have to 
thing about um that part. Now that is in the living room. I get I guess the dining room will be the same, wouldn't it? The dining room, the window's the same, isn't it? Yeah, it should be. But anyways, we're just gonna keep doing a few more of these. I don't know how much more we're gonna do tonight. Well, um, got myself in a weird bind. There's too much stuff in this room to be able to do stuff. ammunition for the things. But anyway, um, I don't know how much more we're going to do with the wall. I wanted to go ahead and finish this side over here, but we might just do this wall and then do the rest of it later or tomorrow or something. I don't know. But um, for now, we're going to do this because it's getting pretty late. It's already almost 8 o'clock. Did you know that? It's almost 8 o'clock, so we probably won't be sticking around very much longer. So, I'll be back. Hey guys, I just remembered that I didn't finish the video, so I'm going to do that real quick. I'm already getting home and ready for bed and eat supper and all that stuff. Or we ate supper, something, I don't know. Anyway, um, I don't know if the video is going to turn out the way I wanted it to or not. We'll see. But that's what we did today that I can show you. I will try to do like a kind of a a recap tomorrow because it got dark on us and we didn't get to finish things because we didn't have light, two lights. So we didn't really go past the window, but I'll show you tomorrow, hopefully in better light. And um, we are going to continue to do things. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you guys again tomorrow. Thank you so much for hanging out with us today. I do appreciate it. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you like my channel, go ahead and subscribe and hit the bell so you be notified whenever I upload. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know how you're doing. If you have a prayer request, you can leave that down below as well. I forgot to say, if you know somebody who would like my channel, and I don't mean just this video or this type of video, I mean my channel because I do all kinds of things on here. Please share this channel if you would like to. I don't even know what I'm saying now. It's really late. And remember, don't take any wooden nickels and be sweet.